Unfortunately, even though we're Ghanaian and we believe the client should appreciate that we have a competitive advantage, sadly, it's not seen that way. Our, uh, it's only seen that way with the, with the international clients like Barclays Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, uh, Carl Bank, uh, the international uh, hotel companies. They emphasize first on what brand do you represent? Second is local content. So for the formal sector, we do have a competitive advantage because in reality, we are the largest wholly owned Ghanaian company that specializes in this field. Two, in the informal sector, which is the very successful Ghanaian man who runs a one-man show, um, the culture doesn't allow him to be comfortable working with the Ghanaian company for a number of reasons. One, maybe they have bent their fingers too many times working with the Ghanaian company. Two, maybe they don't want a Ghanaian company to know how much money they have. Because if they're putting up a $20 million building and you go work with Ghanaians, they're immediately going to know that you are a successful businessman. And during the PNDC days, the culture in Ghana for successful people has always been the hidden culture. And we all know why. What somehow started to evolve this culture in Ghana was when other neighboring countries like Nigeria and foreigners that would come in, they would expose their success. But Ghana is still of the culture that a successful man does not expose his success. So on a formal level, we have a competitive advantage. On a local level, it's challenging sometimes to convince them that they can get the same service, the same product, the same privacy and confidentiality that they get with a foreign company. Competition, there are over 25 lift companies. Uh, some are suitcase companies, some are medium, some are large. Um, we treat them all as competition. Uh, for us, scientifically, uh, we wish to believe there are only three competitors in Ghana because when the formal sector comes in, they only invite these three companies to tender. They have their reasons, maybe certification, maybe track record, maybe uh, human capital whatsoever. Um, so that is the competition. In reality, do we believe we have competition? The answer is no. Because if you want to measure capacity, the second after us probably has like 12 employees. We have stock of spare parts worth a quarter of a million euro. The second probably has 20,000 euros. Um, so how do you measure competition? In construction, you have class A, B, and C. And for certain tenders, you need to fulfill a certain requirement before you can tender. Unfortunately, in the elevators, there are no prerequisites. If they do provide prerequisites, like they do in Europe or advanced economies, I doubt anybody in Ghana could qualify. We doubt. Because one of the prerequisites is you need to have at least installed over 500 elevators. It's like pilots for aeroplanes. You, you are able to fly certain planes depending on number of hours you have flown. Or in hospitals, when you want to do your medical degree, you need to clock certain number of hours under internship to qualify for a certain position. It's the same with engineering. It's all about how many hours have you clocked. Okay, and we have clocked over 700 lifts. Each one is around 88 hours. So you can easily calculate the number of hours.